so in my last uh, two parts of this video we were covering the basics of uh, balance sheet and we are discussing a case study on music mart and uh, after nine transactions so we had this as the final picture of what's going on with the business and as you can see uh, music mart balance sheet as of 9 jan is like this with some cash and cds and these are the liabilities so uh, we would continue our discussion this is the part 3 of the video so if you are directly uh, ending up at this video i request you to go through the other two videos and come out this to continue this video so uh, this was a nine transaction and uh, so far we have seen what happens uh, in in a private owned company and what kind of transactions occur and how they record these transactions in a balance sheet and so on now we'll see a case where um, this business goes public and issue some shares and then what happens so the transaction number 10 which uh, we had a brief look in the last video which is uh, music mart offers 1000 shares worth 10000 each of which khan buys 100 shares so uh, khan is one of the owners so the owner himself is buying some uh, shares which is like you know the options or uh, share uh, options given to the employees of the company or something like that but uh, the fact from this we can get is the net money that the company gains is 1000 into 10 dollars so uh, since uh, these are sold at 1000 into 10 which is 10000 so the cash account of the company will increase by 1000 and and correspondingly the capital share on the right side will also increase by 10000 so you can pause the video and think about the uh, balance sheet and here is the answer how it will change so uh, now look at the uh, balance sheet let me just get it onto the screen okay uh, we have cash uh, 51750 earlier the cash was 41750 so this 10000 uh, worth of cash that we had added to our assets and therefore the net assets increase to 52500 so this 52500 will also come on the right side and and uh, this is not the profit that the company is making the company is uh, selling a share so there is a equity share uh, worth 10000 now so but still remember the retained earnings of the company or net profit as of now is still zero but uh, it's going on fine so this is the uh, share now uh, on the right side if you see there are score of lab different liabilities are there you need to know the priority of this liability for example if the company were to uh, liquidate now or the company were to totally bankrupt now the first preference will be given in paying back the bank loans and the payables and second preference will be then given to the equity shareholders and finally whatever is left over if anything is left over will be shared by khan and john um, according to this uh, their investment ratio in this case it is 1 is to 1 okay so let's look at more transactions now this is uh, how uh, shares will affect now uh, remember the share price is 10 dollars and remember that khan already has 100 shares in the company so let's continue okay this is the 11th transaction the share price of the market moves up to 14 dollars and shareholders were happy with the performance of the stock now first question is it is it a transaction of uh, the music mart company or is it a transaction on the shares of the music mart company so since this is not a direct transaction of the music mart company would it would this fact that the share price moved to 14 dollars be recorded in music mart's balance sheets or not so these are things that you should think about in this so uh, go ahead think about and see what uh, the balance sheet would look like you can pause it and uh, here is the uh, balance sheet okay if you recall this is exactly the same balance sheet uh, whatever uh, whatever was earlier the same thing again everything entry to entry everything is repeating again because the value of the share doesn't uh, do any doesn't have anything to do with the current operations of the business so if the business works then its balance sheet changes And once the shares are out in the market they are traded it in the market but not in the that that doesn't affect the market uh, music mart balance sheet okay uh, let's continue one more transaction 
this is like music mart purchase a cds for 2000 by paying the cash so this you are aware of how to uh, do this so i will directly look at the balance sheet so the cash account decreased by 2000 and the series worth increased by 2000 earlier series were 750 now the series are uh, 2750 so this is about uh, converting of cash into series one asset to the other asset let's continue one more okay uh, music mart pays uh, rent electricity bill salaries to staff worth 500 dollars and some water pipes were leaking hence some repair and maintenance work was carried out again charges of 100 dollars and payments were made in cash now uh, through this what i would like to show uh, through this transaction is the running costs of the company so from time to time they have to pay rent from time to time they have to pay electricity bill and salaries to staff and all these things so in this case the cost incurred by the company is 500 plus 100 600 dollars so obviously since the payments are made in cash the cash account would re reduce by 600 but how would the balance sheet of the company be changing so where does that 600 comes where does the 600 gets balanced so let us see that okay uh, so you can see it now the retained uh, the 600 is cut out from the retained earnings so it is written in brackets which means it's a negative number so now the retained earnings are minus 600 and the cash account reduced by earlier it was 49750 now it is 49150 now you can see the signs of uh, the company making loss now the retained earnings term is negative okay let's continue this is transaction number 13 let's go to transaction number 14 bad news there is a major fire in music mart unfortunately there is no loss of life but the entire stock of cds is burnt within minutes of opening the stock market the price of music mart share fell to one dollar so uh, there are two things happening here something is happening to the assets of the company and correspondingly something is happening to the stock price of the company so how do you record this in your uh, balance sheets so pause the video and think about how to record this and we we'll look at the answer okay first things uh, that you should observe here is that series is totally gone and entire series uh, is uh, are burnt and therefore series worth is zero cash is safe 49150 therefore my entire left uh, column is 49150 so correspondingly on the right side i should remove uh, some part so obviously we will be going to retain earnings and reducing it so what was the worth of the cds uh, before they burned the before they burned the worth of the cds was 2750 as seen on 13 jan therefore the 2750 entirely is uh, added to the losses earlier losses were already 600 losses and now 600 plus 2750 is 3350 losses we are having so basically there is a bad news and uh, the media was filled with this bad news and company made some losses so but if you look at this company situation, it's not that bad. Uh, there's nothing out of the total assets of 49,150. The assets which are burnt was only worth 2,750. So it's not that a big bad news. But uh, the share price fell to only one dollar. And remember that uh, the, the the variations of the share price doesn't affect the balance sheet of the music mart. So this fact of one dollar doesn't appear in this um, balance sheet. So we'll continue. Look, one more uh, transaction. Okay, uh, Khan and John bought back 450 shares each at one dollar per share. Since the market price now is one dollar, they bought back. But since Khan and John bought back the shares, this is nothing to do with the music mart. So again, uh, you can, you might have guessed it that there's no change in the uh, balance sheet of the company. Their capital is same. Uh, Khan's capital is 12500 and John's capital is this, whereas equity shares are now still uh, worth 10,000. This is the book value of the equity shares, but in the market, the uh, the value is only one dollar. Okay. Uh, in the next uh, transaction, we are saying that Music Mart was declared bankrupt and company was dissolved, and who made how much profit and how much loss. So here, who in the sense we are only talking about Khan and John. So 
how much profit did they make and all so why don't you work it out all these figures and we'll come back and com compare our notes in the next video and uh, before we go i would like to remind you that khan and john bought back 450 shares each that means and earlier khan had uh, 100 shares with himself so and as of now the total nine uh, ten thousand dollars sorry total thousand uh, shares which are there in the market are all uh, between Khan and John only. There's no third person involved here. So you have to calculate the profit and loss of this Khan and John. So that will be the task for the next uh, video. So see you in the next video.